Hey guys, this is an updated video on how to connect the Elgato to the PS5. So before you do anything, just make sure you don't open the game cup capture software and you just want to go ahead and connect up your PS5 to the Elgato. I've put on screen a little schematic just to make things a bit clearer just because my setup is pretty messy with cable so it might confuse you. So you have a HDMI on the outside of the Elgato and that goes to your monitor or your TV then you've got another HDMI on the other side of the Elgato that goes to your PlayStation 5 then on that same side of the Elgato you have a USB so that goes to your laptop or your PC and then you've got an audio jack and that's what plugs into like your spare PS controller so not that it's very clear but I've got the new HDMI that comes with the PlayStation 5 that goes into that side of the Elgato then another HDMI which goes into my monitor and then I've got this audio jack which you can see is an Elgato one and that just plugs straight into like a controller that I'm not using and then I've got that USB which plugs into the back of my PC not that it's very clear but if that just makes the schematic a bit easier to follow so if you've got everything connected up you should be able to boot up the PlayStation 5 and bring up the home screen and then you want to come up to the top right corner and click on this settings button then you want to go down to system and then to HDMI and then this setting you want to make sure it's not enabled so make sure you tick this off and for the audio I've made a second account which I've just named Mike and I assign my controller that's plugged into my Elgato to that account so I have to have my controller turned on for the audio to come through it's kind of like a bypass so you can see once I turn on the controller the audio comes through and now we have sound so heading across to the game capture software and for this I'm just going to display all the settings I've got um, set and you just want to copy them um, I think the important one is the audio type to have it as the analog which is the cable you're plugging into your spare controller so just make sure everything's copied as I've got set and you should not have any dramas so if you do I don't know what it would be maybe you've missed a step or you try to open the game capture software first make sure if you've done that just to turn off your PlayStation and exit out of the game capture software and, and boot it up again make sure everything's connected properly so if this video helped you guys out make sure you drop a sub and a like it helps me out a lot and if you've got any questions just drop them down below and I'll get back to you so cheers guys and I'll see you in the next one